Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, welcome to Shadow and Sun. Today, I have still forgotten how to do the intro, and I'll also be painting Bobo. That's another thing I'll be doing, I guess. Tonight, we're going to try uh, a couple of new paints we found at the, uh, uh, actually, the local Walmart. Uh, I know Vallejo and a couple other companies are making color shifting, color changing paints, but here we have what's called a color shift by folk art and it has this cool red slash blue depending on which angle the light hits it we're going to try this out we're also going to be trying out a are we going to use the neon yellow nope no nope. yeah, okay. not going to i was that. using that he's going to use a little more of the red neon mm -hmm. and uh we're going to when he gets to a certain point show you the effect do you have the black light yes there? i do okay cool where is it in your pocket yes it's in your pocket okay cool okay i might actually need to get a different uh, thing because there are some areas that I, if, a few days ago, and by a few days ago I mean a week ago, I actually covered in the in white. I painted over them. Okay. But I might actually not need a silver, but this silver isn't the best silver. I mean it's a good silver, but it's not a good silver for painting over things. Okay. That makes sense. So I might actually. Oh, that's good for now. Um, no, no, that's the, this, the that's for the mistakes. This is for cleaning your brush. Okay. If you make a mistake. Yeah. Oh. What colors you gonna need? Um, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do first. Actually, I do know what I'm gonna do first. Um, should I use this brush for? That's for the black ink. Okay. And this brush. This is the smallest brush there is in fact. Okay. What color you want? Red. Neon? Yes. I can... Yeah, just put it on the palette for you. Okay. That's enough? Yeah, that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. I already messed up. You need a mistake brush? No, it just I got paint on a small area. The reason I'm redoing this in the first place. I mean, I could just, um... Paint the entire circle and not just the orb. I think the orb is all you need. Yeah, but I'm not really sure if I am able to um, uh, get in the tiny cracks to repaint after there were small parts of red paint that get well, in there. If you use a smaller brush, it should be fine. Yeah, but then I might get on the silver, which means I actually think that's almost well that it's impossible for me to actually do it maybe you can okay we'll see okay um, i don't think i need this much paint on it because i just need to get in i don't need i think this brush is actually too big use the mistake brush okay i will use the mistake brush today How's it going? Good. Okay. The brush is about the right size then? Yeah. Because I can pull out the uh, triple zero if it's... No, I don't think so. <laughs> they're, uh, very, they're really tiny brushes. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's too big or if it's too... Well, it's not too small. But I actually have not seen them. Okay. Or, I, or I have, but I haven't... I don't remember what their exact look like is. They're about half that size. Mm. If not more, they're really tiny. Yeah, they what do you like even use them for? Faces. That makes sense. Uh, runes on armor and jewelry and things like that. They're, they got like four hairs in them. You know, they're... Actually four hairs? No, no, but... Like twelve? Maybe. <laughs> no, I, I doubt they have a hundred. Mm. 
I doubt that has a hundred. Really? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> I think that's... Let me see. Oh, that's really cool. It's gonna look really cool with the black light on. Mm-hmm. could have some more light in it, like in those crafts, but I don't think I should have that much. I think that's a bit too much. Okay. What are you going to do next? Um, I have no idea. You want to do that? Try out the... Yes, I will in fact do that. This Tuesday, uh, I'm going to give you a little sneak pre preview of what we're going to do Tuesday. We'll be doing the Xenogenesis layer with some contrast paints and some neon paints. So you guys might want to stay tuned for that video. Yes. We'll be just uh, just a simple con we'll pop that like a bubble. So you see how much I actually need a little more. We'll be doing some simple contrast paint recipes along with uh, neon. How should I go about dry brushing? How should I go about not getting any in the white? Or should I just paint? You just paint if, if you. Or should I just once it's done? You can always go back with a brighter white and just make drops in there. Just left to right or right to left, solid strokes on a flat surface like that, and maybe start in the cracks and move your way out to the edges. It's kind of like an orangish. Yeah, it, it, even here I can see. Here. In the, in the paint, you can actually see it. The paint actually has a blue sheen to it. Yeah. I don't know if the camera can see that. The, the paint has this weird effect where it's multicolors at once, and depending on what angle you look at it, will determine the actual color. These uh, color shift paints are about four dollars a bottle, and about ten times the amount of paint as a Vallejo or the other company has in it. What and is that other company? I, what, I, I games uh, workshop. It might be Games Workshop, or it might be Tamayaya, or something like that. Or um, I, I don't think, but uh, maybe Citadel has a color change or color shift, um, but. Either way, I saw this and I, I we had to try it out. I've been wanting to uh, experiment with this kind of paint for a long time, ever since I heard about it. Uh, and it's nice that it's got the little sticker on the top so you get a, a really good idea of the, the two different kinds of color that's supposed to appear when you use it. We'll probably get some more next weekend if this turns out, you know. It is kind of going good. Yeah. I don't like how it looks. If you do a lighter coat of it, it will turn out orange. But You'll definitely want to wait till it dries and go over it a second time then. Or you could just do multiple coats. Or mm -hmm. do a... Thick coat. Th yes, a thick or coat. Oh. There. Are you going to do any dry brushing on the gums tonight? Or save that for next um, time? Next time. Okay. No, I mean... What do you mean by next time? Well, you're not going to finish tonight. Yeah, but I think I'm going to do... I think uh, the stuff that I'm not going to finish today is not going to be enough for a full video. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Besides, um, I think just three videos of this is good enough. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be... I'm pretty sure that there's not really going to be much actual things left to do well, with well, this. Let's, let's find out when it completely dries tonight. We can always come back. 
Or we could do a Thursday video on it instead of a Sunday. Yeah, or I we think. Just show it off. Yes. Because you won't be able to do the dots tonight. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Let me know when you want me to pour the, uh, the black. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I'm definitely going to clean that up later with some paint. Okay. Ready for the black or? Um, I'm not. Or the pink. Um, I'm probably going to do the, neither actually. Should I use this for the wash? That's what I meant, the black wash. No, this wash. Oh, then, uh. This one? Yeah. I don't, I barely need any. The brown wash or the black wash? Brown. Okay. I use this. Is this a soft tone? Yes, this is a soft tone. I use this particular ink more than any other wash in my collection. I've, this is my second or third bottle I've gone through with this in a year. I really. I use this stuff like crazy. We used it on the uh, teeth for Bulbo. As you can definitely show. And I use it for wood. I use it to put over gold. I use it to put over skeletons, bones, things like that. It's really, it's, it's my favorite. I, I use it for everything. And that's all I needed. Now there's no And left. it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I didn't nice, need much. Nice measuring skills. It was just a single drop. Uh, that's what I mean. Sometimes, it, you know, it's really satisfying to be able to pour out just the amount you need and use it all and not have to go back, get more, or not have to leave some on the palette and waste it. It's yeah, okay, now um, the pink. Okay. I'd oh. use the same brush for the pink. It's a dry brush. Yeah, because it's dry brush. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a bit... Be, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. We should have shook it up. Yes, we should have. That's okay. Just mix it in real good with the, with the brush and then, you know, wipe off the excess like we've been showing people. I just got pink all over me. Oh, no. Where's the lid? How's it look on the, on the paper? Yeah, it's a little thick. Yeah. Okay, not exactly. I can't even really see it. Really? Yeah. You need a lighter color? You want to add some white to it? No, actually, never mind. I can't see it, but... It, it, when it dries, you might notice it a little more. I think that I'm actually getting rid of maybe even too much. Okay, you, you can always add some red ink or something like that to dull it down or brighten it up a little. But I, I can see it showing up. Yeah, I can too. Is that, that red contrast or... Red. Is, is a bit <laughs> strong. I like it, but uh, it might have been a little bit too dark. Never mind. It's showing a lot now. Cool. So yeah, I think that's good. Do you want to do inside the mouth, around the eyeball? It looks pretty bright there. <laughs> At least on my side. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, I want the insides to be a bit more... Slobbery and red? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> That's our peanut gallery again. Peanut gallery? Yeah, the peanut head. What does that mean? Chewy, our dog. 
He's barking. I understood that that's what you meant. I just didn't understand why. I, I don't know why he's barking either, but... He, that's he's... not what I meant either. Black wash or dry brush silver? Uh, black wash. Okay. Again, this is the black wash I showed you guys with the uh, AI center. A uh, little trick with this stuff, if you do use it, we tilt our palette like this so that it pulls down and it seems to want to not necessarily separate, but it really dries fast and thin. Uh, maybe it's the distilled water or the, the altitude that we live at. That's enough. Oh yeah, way too much. Hold on, let me set it down very carefully because we don't want it to spill because this is essentially black ink and it has a tendency to stain anything you get it near. But it's still working out pretty good. This, this bottle will probably last us years. But it really, it really likes to run thin and right into those cracks and crevices without a bit too much. any resistance. It just gets slurped into those those nooks and crannies. Something I haven't noticed that might not be 100% correct, but it's probably somewhat true, is that a lot of the time, some of it might, I mean, this might be different depending on if you're in a different area, but a lot of it, the time, like, there was a, a lot more uh, liquidy, thing it had a lot more stuff on it uh -huh. there's a lot more of the ink actually on the fan blades in the center there yeah but they've dried so it um it seems like a lot of the time uh some of the gloopiness of some of the stuff will when it dries will it will go away i'm not sure if, what that exactly would be called yeah, sometimes it dries really thin if you not if you don't let it puddle up a little. Because that tight. Thank. Oh, that looks good. It went right into those lines really nicely. Yeah, I kind of I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm. Adding a small ring of the stuff around the edge. That looks really good, actually. That's what I was looking at. Mm. A lot of people like the, the edge of their base is black, but I think this looks actually better with it in silver. There's a little on the side over here that looks like it's running down. Is that something you intend? Yeah, it's doing it over here too. Let's get a maybe a little bit of paper towel to wipe that up. Maybe you're putting too much on the brush. Maybe, but it has been working. Yeah, see so it's doing that over here too. I might have to go over some of those areas with silver if it stains it. Yeah, but we were kind of already planning on doing that anyways. Yeah. The dry good. brush with the... Silver. Not, not that silver because it doesn't do anything, but the other silver, and I think that might, no, oh, there's, a, there's, a, a, there's a small, not small, but there's a few things. And one thing with this, this particular ink wash we made, uh, it, it takes a long time to dry, so he's going to have to 
finish the rest later because if he tilts the miniature, it will run all over the place. But there is a few things I think I can do. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Which is... Okay, I just need to wash this off. Just be careful not to touch the base because it'll... Should I use this paint? Uh, what are you going to paint? Uh, some areas like this. Okay. Just some raised areas. With the lead belcher? Yes. Let me, let me shake that. Cause... Okay. I don't need you to pour any out. No, no, I know. This yeah. lead belcher is going on 10 plus years old, so... Well, actually, you just bought a lot of Citadel paints a long time ago. And yeah. you forgot to use them? Yep. I bought a paint set that had, like, either a Space Marine or five Space Marines in it, which I never painted. I got it on eBay and then put it in a box and forgot about it. I'm just going to paint some of the raised areas. I already did this before, but I'm just going to do another pass. Yeah, I might even add it in places that it wasn't before. Be careful tilting the miniature. Oh, yeah. That ink will run all over the place and you won't like it later. When you see it in the morning, you're going to be like, oh, no. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Nothing. Mm. You're being a little silly. Yeah. As long as you're having fun, that's important. Right, folks? What? Fun is the name of the game. What? That's as long as you're having fun when you're doing this, that's all that yeah. matters. Okay, don't be a smart ass. <laughs> I wish the camera could see that ankle because that look was funny. Yeah. do another thing but I think this is pretty much it for tonight yeah I just need to do this or no I mean I'm pretty sure it's finished the only parts that aren't finished I just need to go over it a small amount with a there's a couple of mistakes I see that you might want to fix yeah that's what I mean but okay. there I shouldn't do it in an entire video okay I'm just fixing the mistakes okay if we're going to do another video it would just be what it is. Yeah. I think that's I think that's good. Right. Well maybe I might just add a small amount here, 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 and also here. <laughs> There. That is. Oh. Alright, folks. Let us know what you think in the comment section. We're going to call it a night here. Remember. It is a school night for this little guy. Let's not. Don't right. remind you. That's not what I was going to say. Uh, we're going to be making more videos, so subscribe. Yeah. I guess. Like and subscribe. We'll leave a comment if you've got one. Mm. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you Tuesday. Yes. Say Tuesday goodbye. will be a, a day where a video is published. Yes, and Thursday. Have a great week, and everybody. Yes, that is, in fact, the schedule. Say goodnight. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye.